Chimchacho is my favorite place to be in in Yaochimon district. Me and my friends, we go and hang out in Chuki Mansion or Mirado Mansion. You know, like they play, you know, African music. They cook like African meals and, you know, like we drink there. That experience in that moment makes you feel like for a second I was not in Hong Kong, you know, like I'm back in Africa or something. My name is Rangira Arno Trezor. I'm from Rwanda. Uh, my stage name is Trizio, and that's the name that I use musically. And I'm 25 years old. I've been in Hong Kong for five years, and uh, I'm a part of the group called the Afro Seas. Apart from music, I do modeling. I do dancing, Afro dancing. Uh, I used to teach in two different studios and uh, in different schools as well. My family have been living here for a couple of years now. It's almost like 10 years since they've been in Hong Kong. So I came later on. Yeah, I was studying at Chinese University uh, in anthropology department. Yeah, for two years. Basically, the way I started a music career, I was like, I write songs, but you know, nothing professional. It's, just like, like I download some beats and then, you know, writing something on them. And then later on, I meet up with a guy called DXN. We were playing basketball together in, in Yamate. We walked to Jordan to his studio. On the same night I wrote, uh, I recorded my first song. I'm going to this song like a from name. You can bounce this beat like a triple in. Rocks and the papers, I'm going to lay you in. Nigga come, nigga there, cause I lay you in. There are like a lot of uh, difficulties of doing music in Hong Kong. The fact that uh, I don't like do music in Cantonese or Mandarin, right? So that is that makes it more difficult for me or any artist in my shoes. But when it comes to rap, hip hop, especially Afrobeat, it doesn't really have a place. My connection with Yachumong district is I lived there for a couple of years, so it is pretty much special. And all the videos that I did, it have the part that I shoot around Yachumong district. First one, it was shot in Choki Mansion, like on the first floor. Yeah, so the second tender laughing, it was shot in Prudential Hotel, which is in Jordan. Me and my partner doing music around our Yashimo district is because that's where we basically feel like we belong rather than other, you know, like compared to other places in Hong Kong, basically. The fact that it was the first place that, you know, I explored you know, like as my neighborhood. So I feel like I know it much better than other places. So any idea that we have uh, either is to shoot a video or, you know, to chill around. I think Yao Chimong district would be the first in mind. I used to come here like two times a week, stay around, you know, chill with uh, some people, meet some new friends. So it was uh, like a good place to hang out, you know. Go to 7 Eleven, buy drinks. Uh, it was an amazing time. The difference between Yaochimo district and like other districts in Hong Kong is that, you know, it's that diversity, as I mentioned. Like most of people who live there are from Nepal and Pakistanis and Indians. You have options of food, drinks, you know, like that culture of like makes you feel like you belong from all those diversity, you know, like around me, I feel like, you know, I play a part in it, you know, so that's what makes it different than other places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Listen, we be acting crazy lately. I know we are friends, but you be starting call me baby lately. You cannot. How the way you feel about me. In general, I love Hong Kong, but I feel like uh, there'll be the time that, you know, um, I may not be here. You know, when it comes to music, I feel like it's like my genre, like Afrobeat, mostly is a little bit left out. People in Hong Kong are not used to African music. So like me doing what I do, you know, it's like a sharing my cultural music 
uh, to Hong Kong. So that is like an inspiration because they don't have it, so I provide it. Nine, no, we, nine, no, we, yeah. Nine, no, we, nine, no, we, yeah.